it's common knowledge that more polygons, or vertices really, means more performance cost. This is especially true for vertex-based effects, like per-vertex sliding, or animation through vertex movement via shaders. We went with poly reduction early on, and as this is our debut game, mistakes were made, and we found ample opportunity to reduce the polygon counts on many of the assets in the game. Using polyview, I went over our assets and reduced their polygon count while still keeping their shape mostly intact. For objects in the background, I used more extreme values, and in some cases, some objects were converted into planes with normals by our artists. In fact, for Grime 2, Theodore went ahead and made a whole tool that converts multiple objects into a single plane with normals that looks almost identical to the source material. Fun fact, by the way, when I made this slide, I pasted the images and had to step away for a few minutes, and when I came back, I couldn't tell which image represented which quality level, so I think we did a pretty good job. <laughs> 